What's up guys, Aeronius here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video, running into Live Arena, just hopping right in. Uh, update, I did play yesterday, I am, uh, actually let me show you really quickly, missions, I'm farming these missions for Live Arena, for Marius, I'm at 13 out of 20 for the Live Arena battles, so I just need to win 7 more, so hopefully I can go 7 for 10 today. I did pull a few additional coins or tokens for more battles, because I farmed Curse City, so hopefully we can do that. We did also break past 4,100 points, which is nice. Uh, this is what I did 24 hours ago on my cell phone. I did five wins, three losses. So I didn't do the full 10 battles. I only had like 20 minutes left. So I just like speed ran it on my cell phone. And uh, yeah, I just didn't do a video. So I went five wins, three losses, which was not bad. So let's do this. Hopefully we can get some wins today. Keep on progressing and get further and further into gold three. Let's do this. And of course, if you haven't watched my previous shard pull video, go ahead and watch that for the incarnate fusion. I am going for her. She's not going to be a huge change game changer on my account by any means, but I still wanted to get her on the account. All right. So this guy's going first. So yeah, I did also pull a legendary on that video and I pulled another Alika. So my Alika is now plus two. With additional speed, five speed. So I will be using her a little bit in today's video, potentially. Uh, she's going to probably smack. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Who do I want? I think I'm going to go with the Arbiter Makage combo to start. Let's see what he's got going on. Hopefully you guys are doing well, by the way. I know the week's winding down to an end for some of you. Uh, it's going to be Thursday at the time that you see this video. I am recording on a Wednesday evening late at night. So yeah, good luck to me and good luck to you guys out there if you are still farming away at Live Arena for those wonderful primal shards. That's what I'm trying for. That's why I do this and because it's good content and because I like doing it. I just wish they could make some updates eventually. It would make this game mode so much more fun. But let's see. So he's going speed. Is he going to go? I mean, I'm assuming he's got a CP if he's got a Georgid. Mm, let's go Wuk uh, UDK to go against the Wukong, right? And then let's go... Holy. And then let's see, does he do Sifi and does he do no Sifi? Okay, so he's doing Warlord to Lockout. I still have to ban the Armands. He's probably going to ban my speed, which sucks for me. He might be faster than me too if he bans my speed. And he took the Wukong, so I can't use like a speed or a lead. I don't think I have any other damage dealers that have speed or a lead. I wonder if I could, you know, what? I don't have time for this, so I'm just going to go with, I'm just going to go with Rodos. I'm still winding down on my cold here, still sick, but um, it is what it is. I've got to do the accuracy aura. I mean, he's going to lock us out. He might end up just straight up beating us because of the Georgid. That's our problem, but he had the Armand's pick, so go figure. And we're still faster. Wow. Okay, we'll take that though. We might win. We could win. I mean, he's going to lock us, but he does have a stun. Wait, why did he do that? Why didn't he lock? That was like his only chance to win. I'm going to kill Georgid. Eh, I mean, I think I can one-shot this Duchess. Yeah, I think I can one-shot him too. GG's. All right, that was weird. I thought he was going to lock, but he decided to try to buff up. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the win. He has two Armands. That's cool. So he must have went for the 15x progressive that was going on. Did you guys go for the 15x progressive and did you go for Armands? Or did you go for a different champion that's a legendary? I'm assuming you probably waited for the Armands. But then again, some people just didn't even pull their shards at all. But I'm interested to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Skylar. Let's do it. You Skylar White, yo. Let's do it. I've got Armands on my side, so things should hopefully look good. Come on, Skylar. What you got? It's going Makage. Oh, boy. Okay, Makage is my girl. It's unfortunate he went for her. See, that means we're going to have to go Elva, I think, for the cleanse. And plus, she's positive affinity against Wukong. I would love to go for a secondary Elva, and I would love to empower Elva. She's so powerful in Live Arena. She's so good in classic and tag team arena. 
and then empowering her would be insane. I still haven't seen her essence really pop into the market very often, but the two star essence or two star awakening rather isn't super impactful for her because it's only bringing her attack up a little bit more. But um, obviously progressing on any champion in general for awakening is going to be beneficial in the long run, especially if you're utilizing those champions so often, then you want to try to invest in them. And if you're focusing specifically on arena in PvP, you want to focus on a small pool of, of champions. Now, myself, personally, my account is very general. Like, I'm very well-rounded, I would say. So, I don't focus on, I guess, the top two or three damage dealers on my account, like some players do with, like, their Rodoses or other champions. I kind of was focusing on Samson, but then I kind of faded away from him a little bit. I still use him a lot in battles. Like, this would be the perfect battle for Samson, so I'm obviously going to use him, but I feel like I've been focusing a little bit more on other champions recently. Like, I do want a five-star Samson, but he hasn't popped in the market. And and I do want to focus on Foley as well, as well as my Sun Wukong. And then I have Rodos as well, so, like, I just have so many champions. Quintus would be nice, too, so... I'm thinking so broadly, even though we really should be honing in and focusing on just a couple of champions at a time. So this guy is going to be tanky. He might even be an all stone skin. He doesn't have any polymorph. So let's go ahead and bring in our Nishak. Let's go for bombs here. I think we could do it with bombs if not for Samson. He's probably going to bring in Tormund or he's going to bring in... Well, Tormund doesn't even matter. He'd have to ban my Elva. And then that leaves me with my Armand, so he's kind of SOL. He might have to bring in a Mithrala, which I will ban Mithrala. The only person that's going to save him in this battle is Makage, but she's not in Temporal Chains, so that's good for me. But she can cut in if he's if she's really fast. So I'm going to ban Marichka because she's a cleanser. Um, he could have put M Marichka, he could have put Mithrala, he could have put any cleanser like a Pythion. Basically, I just don't want a cleanser here. So hopefully he doesn't ban Arbiter. If he bans Arbiter, he actually has a chance to win. If he bans Armands, my Arbiter is going to be fast enough to speed up. Then she places additional speed. Then we do the bombs. Then we do the nuke uh, for final measure. But let's see what happens. Who does he ban? He banned the Armands. I think I'll be able to win this one. I shouldn't have an issue, but who knows? You never know. You never know. I mean, the Wukong could come back to life and absolutely one-shot wreck with the A2 into my Nishak and kill everybody. So that is a possibility. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can just kill him outright and not have to worry about that at all. Now he is in triple damage though, so the no polymorph is going to be his downfall. Weird, the timer's not doing great today. Like, it's just counting all the way down to the end. And it's like, all right. Like, you should know whether or not the players have picked at this point. So he isn't all stone skin like I expected. So we'll kill the Wukong, no problem. Everybody else will get bombs on them. And even if it's one bomb, as long as they go to one turn, I think they should all die. Let's see. Let's, um... I might... I'm not sure if I want to wait or kill Wukong now. Because it'll be one, two, three. Wukong will come back. Let's, yeah, let's just take him out now. So she's dead. Yeah, we're going to win this. Everybody's got stone skin. One, two, three. Yeah, so he came back. Hopefully we can take a turn here before the Wukong or else we lose. Luckily we did. All right, GG's. And that should be it. Nice. All right, bombs worked on that one. No problem. We got So far we're on a little bit of a roll here with four wins in a row since yesterday. Here we go. We've actually been getting quite a few wins recently, back to back to back, which is nice. But then I'll go on a stint of like four or five wins in a row, and then I'll lose three in a row. And then I'll win four or five or two or three, and then or I'll win two and then lose two. It's it's very back and forth up here, but I mean it's still fun either way for me. It's just when people have like all the mythicals, that's when it's impossible for me. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, he's taking the Makage and CV, which is not good for me. Mm. I mean, so in this case, I may have to 
I mean, he's going double speed here. I, I see Mikage as another speed champion because she can strip and then she can stun and lock people out. So this is like a speed champion in my eyes. She can lock people. She can speed up. I'm probably going to need to take uh, UDK here. He may take Wukong. I'm going to take uh, Rodos if he doesn't take him. But he's probably going to take Harima, actually, now that I think about it. If he's got a Sifi and a Makage, he probably has a Harima. So let's see what happens. And I'm thinking of banning Makage here. But if he has Harima, I might have to ban Harima. I'm not sure yet. Hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, there's the Harima. And he's going Ancora. He's going Narciss, Ancora. Uh, maybe we ban the Narciss. Because Narciss is just so powerful. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't have done. I should have did. Ah, no, I did, I messed that up. I messed that up. I should have did Samson. I should have did Samson. I should have done Samson. Damn it. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, Samson is definitely would have been the best pick here because of double red affinity. He's really, really strong against Harima and against Makage. I think the only reason why I picked Rodos was just because I had the UDK to begin with. I mean, I could kill off the... Who do I want to take out? I mean, even if I... Mm, he's just going to one-shot everybody with this passive, which is annoying. You know, let's just risk it. We're going to risk it. Hope that we can beat him in speed. If we can beat him in speed, we'll win. If we can't beat him in speed, we won't win. Because more than likely, he's going to take a turn, and his Narcissus is going to kill everybody on my team. And then his Ronda's going to come in for the cleanup. But if we can go first, we're going to nuke with the Wukong right into his Makage. Ah, of course his Makage has stone skin. That sucks. Mm, he went fast enough. Damn. Damn, that's not good, dude. I thought, I thought I'd be able to get it. I guess not. Damn. All right. Well, we're not speed tuned enough with our damage dealers. It is what it is. So we're going to... He also has increased defense, but maybe we can do this. Oh! Oh my god! Sun Wukong is filthy! With a Merciless set. Holy crap, dude. And my Merciless set is good, but it's not like the top tier Merciless set in the game or nothing like that. I've got him in 254 speed, 270 crit damage, 272 accuracy, almost 6,500 attack. Of course, he has the three-star awakening, uh, no additional um, awakenings going on, and uh, no empowerment. Faction Guardian is only with the first two, so it doesn't really help him other than a little bit of additional HP. So, like, that was just insane. Oh, my God. That was wild. That was wild. Okay. Man, Wukong, that's why I'm like thinking I want to work on Wukong as well, not just my Samsung, because I feel like Wukong recently has become so clutch for me up here when you're really high up, especially with a UDK on your team. If you have a UDK, you have Wukong, and they don't have a block revive champ, he gets up. If he takes a turn and he has the A2 available, he most likely will win the game for you, which is insane. That's that that was just that was wild. I'll take it. Those are the fights that blow you out of the water. Like you're just like, what the hell just happened? Alright, so uh we've got uh Arby and Wukong going on. So I am gonna take the Makage still, and then I'm gonna take probably UDK. Or hmm. Should I do Makage? Yeah, I'll take Makage. I'm gonna take Foley next. And then I'll take, oh, of course he has Sifi as well. That's not good. I got to ban the Sifi. I got to throw in Tormin. Tormin and I'm going to put in Samson. Ban Sifi. I mean, he's likely going to ban the Armands. He might ban Tormin, but likely the Armands he'll ban. This is going to be, okay, Pytheon. So double cleanser. He's got a lot of support. 
Does he ban the UDK? I'm just going to ban here. He didn't ban the UDK. Let's go. All right. Well, we might actually win this. I mean, he might go so fast that he could potentially beat us, but I'm risking it with Samsung because I have faith in my Samsung for doing big damage. And I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that my Samsung is going to be able to AoE kill the Wukong and therefore he's going to kill everybody else since there's no Harima mitigating all that damage. Now, he will have the increased defense, obviously. Um... And he could kill my Makage right away here, which is also possible. But luckily, we could ally attack into someone right now and potentially kill them. Or we could try to take a turn in AoE. This is the part, I think I'm just going to do this and weaken them. Let's just do this and remove his increased attack. So hopefully we can survive a little longer. I mean, he can't do the A2. He's got to do the A3. He got really lucky with stealing that. I have 500 accuracy, by the way. Five, or sorry, 500 resistance on my UDK. He didn't die. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. All right, so he's dead. He's going to revive, I assume. No instant revive. Okay, let's see if we can steal the stone skin back. Nice. Okay, we did not steal it, but uh, we removed it. And now we can do this. Of course, they all have block debuffs, and they're all protected. I shouldn't have done that. I should have saved it, but it's all good. Um, hmm. Do I kill the Wukong now? No, because then she'll revive. So it doesn't really matter. She has tons of heals. The Sifi is crazy. I mean, he got really lucky with that steal, man. Like, that steal is what made him win. If he wins this, that steal of the stone skin is what made him win. Because now he can nuke. Okay, so he didn't kill me, but still. Maybe we can get lucky here. So, block debuffs, block debuffs. Every single person has block debuffs still. Let's just slow her down. She's going to sleep my Sammy. Yeah, there you go. Go figure. I mean, yeah, this is a loss. I don't foresee myself winning because she's just going to keep on sleeping Sammy. Well, she's going to go again. She's going to speed up twice. That's a good freeze. But now she's going to sleep here. I mean, she's just going to... She's a sleep machine. I mean, see if he's ridiculous if you don't have UDK alive. And I don't have a reviver right now, so... I mean, I could win. I don't know if I have my Samsung's ability back. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. All right. Hello, hello. Hopefully it still works. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But my mic it went into the red zone, so my my voice might be messed up right now. He's going first. No. He's stunned, but I got the um unkillable, which is nice. Uh, he's going to get the revive. Mm, not good. GG's. All right, he won. He won. He got the revive. Um, let's speed up again. He'll have his A2. He didn't have his A2? What? 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 What's happening right now? He's going to sleep anyways. Dude, these revives are crazy right now. And he removed the debuff. What? Oh my gosh. The RNG at the end there was wild. 
I should have won that, dude. I couldn't get the kill because he had increased defense and I think strengthen on his uh on his Pythion. So the strengthen helps. I mean, strengthen seriously destroys Samson. Single handedly, if you have a strengthen buff on your team, then it's like Samson does no damage. I don't know why, but yeah, it's crazy. It's all good though. I thought I was gonna win that. That was still a good fight. I like that fight. Let's do it. Lero Lero Foro. Lerofaro. What does that stand for? Okay, Sigfrin, six star. Duchess, six star. We gotta do lockout. Oof. Um, let's go like this. He's gonna bring an arbiter. He brings an arbiter. Or a Sifi. Arbiter plus a plus four fully. How am I going to beat that? How am I going to beat that? Do I ban the Foley? Do I bring in my Rotos? Let's do this. I think I ban the Foley. And um, he's probably going to bring in a, a Nithway. Watch. I mean, I, this is already a hard battle to even compete against. Sigfrin's disgusting. Even his AoE hits super hard. His AoE will kill my Sun Wukong, no problem. A Necrit. Oh, man. I mean, he's going to kill me with his Nephilim. Unless I can lock him out, get lucky with lockout. But he'll just ally attack into my Mikage or my Sun Wukong. Whichever one fits him best. Whatever one he feels necessary. But, yeah, we'll... we'll mm, I don't think we're going to survive. This does not look like a battle we can win. If we do win, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Here we go. Stone skin, stone skin. Yeah, two turns as well. And he's got the Nephilim protected. Unless we get lucky. If she does the... She's going to A1. Because if I have Temporal Chains, so... If he does the buffs, I can just strip the buffs. But he's probably going to A1. Yep, I knew that. I knew that was coming up. And then he's going to go ahead and AoE. Everybody's dead. GG's. Yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it, man. Um, There's legit nothing I can do there. I don't think I can one-shot without increase attack. So, uh, GG's. Yeah, I, that was smart play by him. Ah, actually, I should have stayed. I should have tried at least with surviving and hitting with the Wukong. I should have tried with the Wukong. I shouldn't have given up so so fast. That's the fastest I've ever given up, but more out of frustration. But um, I knew that my Wukong could come back to life. I just quit But um, before thinking it over. I wasn't thinking. I quit, and that was that. It's going to be how it has to be. We'll, we'll get him next time. So let's see. He's going Sifi. I'm not going to let him pick Sifi and Arbiter. Sounds like someone's car is getting broken into outside of my house. Not right outside of my house, but down the road. I can hear their alarm going off. 9.20 at night. So we got my Marichka to Ross. I have to lock them out. And then I'm going to bring in Foley here to try to keep him dead. So Foley will come in. I could bring in Rodos, but I, I don't know. He's probably going to bring in Rodos and UDK, knowing him. Harima and Shuzen. Instant turns. Samson's not going to do anything here. Instant turn right into Taras. It's over. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't foresee myself getting this dub. Maybe Shuzen ban. I guess Shuzen ban. We're going to try out Alika, though, just to see if we can lock. But I don't know if this is going to be a win. He's got some pretty crazy champs going on. Taras, Marichka... Sifi and Harima with the mitigation of damage. My saving grace is going to be the lockout. If I can lock them out, that is. If he's not faster than me. Yeah, so we're going to lock. I mean, his Sifi is going to be really fast. Um, let's just do this. I got sheeped. That's awesome. Locked everybody else. If I can AoE and possibly kill, I doubt it. Because if he takes a turn with his 
uh, to Ross, I'm pretty much just dead, right? Let's just nuke. Ah, oh, I wasn't able to do enough damage either way. Yeah, the Harima damage mitigation is pretty insane. I mean, he just nukes but and kills everybody. Even with a baseline to Ross, he can nuke and kill everybody. These champs are weak. Um, they're not strong. They don't have a lot of HP or defense. Look at that. It's destroyed me. I'm surprised he didn't do the AoE. He could have absolutely destroyed everybody. Uh, who has the... So two people in Polymorph, 5 and 6 star, Taras and Marichka. Wow. Okay. Can we even do anything at this point? I don't know. She's dead, but I'm still going to get nuked here. Yeah, that sucks. I think she has high res. Let's just go for it. She brings everybody back to life. They take a turn. It's over. Oh, I was hoping she had high defense and HP where I didn't just kill her with one shot. But yeah, that's busted. That is so busted. Yeah, there was no way I was beating that unless I locked out the Marichka. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'll win five in a row, and then I'll lose three in a row. Um, And then we kind of start the process over once we do the 60 seconds. So I'll come back to you once the 60 seconds is up and we've got a new player. All right, we're back. We'll pop back in. 60 seconds has lapsed. Let's do this. Will we get some more wins? Let's see. Starting off with KSR Q, Arbiter 6 star. He's going to pick Wukong, most likely. Possibly UDK as well. If not, I'm going Wukong UDK. Uh, oh, Sifi. All right, so we're going to go Wukong UDK regardless. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go with, he's going with Harima. So we're going to go with Samson and oof, Ragash is pretty insane too. Lockout. I don't want to get locked out to be honest, although the increased defense really sucks. Puts increased defense on himself. I feel like lockout is going to be the worst part. So we're just going to not take that lockout. This is going to be a quick loss for me because I don't have a reviver. And he's got Ragash on his team who can place decreased defense. And I, unless Ragash gets sheeped, I don't foresee myself winning. Or unless I'm able to take a turn here, which I wasn't with Temporal Chain, he wins instantly. Boom. Done. And there you go. I mean, I could still, I'm just going to wait. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to beat him still because of the myth, not myth, what? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I'm going to win with my Sun Wukong against Harima with damage mitigation. I mean, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wait a minute. I might actually win. <laughs> UDK Wukong is broken. Oh, God. Is he going to lose? <laughs> Is he about to lose? Oh, man. Go night-night. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. I didn't quit that time, so. I, I did uh, I did win that one. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Okay, that's what I mean. Sun Wukong literally saves the day. Every time with UDK. It's a pretty busted combo, not gonna lie. I mean, it's always been a thing. It's always been a combo, but if they were to bring in, you know, a block revive or a Lydia or something like that, someone that can keep the Wukong dead, then I would not have survived that. Like this right here. Nar Narciss is very strong against, well, technically the UDK Wukong would work there too. But um, let's start off with this first. 
we'll go with I think maybe I'm gonna go with UDK and Wukong next. Nephilim. Again, Nephilim. Nephilim's very difficult to beat. I think I'm gonna bring in a Tormin for him this time. I think if we can if he puts buffs from the ally attack or Nephilim puts buffs on himself with the block damage. Or anybody else he brings in that places buffs. Tormund can hopefully freeze him and I just win by RNG. But likely he's going to bring a cleanser. Yeah, so there's the cleanser. We could also bring in bombs. Could just bring in Wukong. Let's bring Wukong. And let's ban... Do I ban Nephilim? I think I just ban Nephilim. And we should be good. I was thinking about it, but... I mean, unless he's faster with Arbaeus... I think I just beat him with speed, but if he does happen to take a turn, the only person that's going to really save him, I feel like, would be the Cardiel. And he doesn't have... Yeah, this is one shot. GG's. <laughs> he doesn't have any stone skin or, or uh, shields or nothing, so... Dang, why didn't he use Ancora? He should have used Ancora with stone skin. I mean, maybe he doesn't have Ancora and Stone Skin. Who knows? All right. That was a quick one. Sometimes they're super fast like that, but not always. I think we might get it, though. I think we might get the amount of wins we're looking for. I think I just need one more win, right? Had five, six. That's six wins. Six wins, three losses. So if I win this one, then we beat the mission. But this is going to be a tough one. This, of course, it's going to be a really tough one for the last one. We're going to go Speed and Wukong. He's going to probably bring in Ancora in Stone Skin, most likely. So he's likely in Stone Skin on Crixia, Stone Skin and Korra. And then he's going to be Stone Skin on somebody else as well. I'm definitely bringing in Bombs this time. I guess depending on what he picks, but I think I'm going to go Bombs. He's going Red Affinity. He's going Makage. So yeah, we're going to go Bombs. He does have one Red Affinity. I think I banned the Crixia. It's going to go Ancora most likely. He can do a revive with Ancora. I could just go Foley. Now that I think about it. Do I go Bombs? Yeah, I think I'll stick with Bombs. He could also do UDK. And ban the Bombs. But let's see. Let's see what happens. He doesn't have Temporal Chains on his Mithrala. Or sorry, not Mithrala. Makage. Hmm. He's going with her. So they're going to get a revive unless... Okay, he won't get a revive if I can kill him unless he's in Stone Skin. In that case, he's going to blow up. And then I'll save the ability from Foley to nuke them down after they revive. So I could still win even if they come back to life. So that would kind of be the plan here. They're all in stone skin like I expected. So they're all going to get bombed. Well, they can't really get bombed, right? You know, so because of uh, her. So I can't bomb. I actually, I should, I should have done bombs. No, I should have done bombs. I should have done bombs. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I should have done bombs and then stripped with my Wukong. Son of a. Of course, I get sheeped. That's ridiculous, dude. I cannot believe I just got sheeped, dude. Sheeped? What, what's the star rating here? A three-star sheep. Well, GG's. GG's. I lost. Getting sheeped. Unless somehow I get lucky, uh, which I doubt it, because I'm going to come out of this sheep. And plus, he'll kill the sheep, and then he'll kill me with a triple hit. What's he trying to do? Increase accuracy? Is he trying to wait to see if I quit? No, I'm trying to wait to see if I win. <laughs> He's trying to wait to see if I quit. I'm trying to wait to see if I win. Because if I can get the A2 off, it's over. I win. Oh, he's trying to strengthen up because he's thinking I'm going to 
nuke. I'm nuking right into your either your Makage or I'm nuking into your your douche right here, Georgian. Yeah, he died. I figured he was gonna die from the triple hit. Ah, you lucky. Mm, I should have I should have done that. But he also got lucky with the RNG on the polymorph too, so there's that. I made a couple mistakes for sure. So five wins. Or no, six wins, four losses. I literally need one more win. Which I do have time left. Wait. I was at 13. Oh no, I'm going based off the wins from yesterday, that's why. Going based off the wins from yesterday. I totally forgot about that. Because this one win right here. So technically it's one, two, three, five wins. Okay. Yeah, so this victory from 23 hours ago doesn't doesn't count. I need two more wins. So yeah, I have five more battles here. Let's do it. Ah, I should have won that. But yeah, I knew he was in all stone skin too. I knew it. But I forget that the... Uh, I had to ban the Crixie or else it would have been locked out. Of course, if I did the bombs, no matter what, I, however I think about it, regardless, it wasn't a win for me. It wasn't going to be a win. So it is what it is. I'm just trying to think of like how I could have approached that battle a little bit differently, but I just don't foresee that of being a win because of the RNG factor as well. I just hate how much RNG there is now in the fights. There's so much RNG involved. Everything is a percentage chance to get something, unless you have voids and mythicals that are a 100% chance to do something. And then stone skin, another 50-50 proc just to remove it. And then with polymorph on top of stone skin, you got a chance to get polymorphed with that too and not remove the stone skin. So it's kind of ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to bring in Foley as well. So Foley hopefully will kill... The Sun Wukong, Foley, Ban Armands. He's not going to beat me in speed. Or he shouldn't beat me in speed. I'm probably going to focus on the Harima first. I doubt... I mean, maybe she is, but I don't think that she's... Oh, I was going to do ally attack when he banned my Mikage. It's all good. So I can't lock him right away. But hopefully I can just straight up beat him. My issue here, let's just do this, and let's just try to kill, I'm pretty sure I'll kill her. Let's try to kill him. Nice. At least we killed these two, Harima damage mitigation and Uko. We weakened him up, softened him. I mean, he can do a revive, but I doubt he's going to do that. Yeah, I didn't think so. I could put... Let's try to decrease his attack. Weak hit. Okay. Does he try to steal? Nope, he tries to do damage, and uh, now we win. Nice. Lord Quad B. Lord BB. This guy's name is... I'm not sure. I wish you can copy and paste the names into like a translator. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's do do this. He's going to pick Makage most likely, but if he doesn't, I'll pick Makage. Yeah, Makage is definitely one of my best champions on the account for sure. Let's just go UDK. We're going to go UDK, and then we're going to go with probably Tormund. Try to see if we can freeze. I could go Samson as well. Oh, he's got sleeps. Ugh gonna ban my speed i have to ban the armands what okay since when he's depending on his leorius yeah ggs i can't wow he's faster than me he's got 400 speed arbeus crazy Let's just kill him now He's just going to AoE nuke everybody into the ground anyways. Yeah, GG's. 
I mean, Nephilim is so powerful, dude. He doesn't even need Leorius. Doesn't even need him. Plus four. Light. That's definitely a light spender. All right, let's go. Man, Nephilim. Disgusting. I would... Oh, I'll give my left nut for a Nephilim. All right? How strong that dude is. Armand's. Go with Makage. He might take Wukong. Five-star Polymorph. Wukong UDK. And we're going to go with uh, Bombs as well. Let's see what he picks. Oh, of course he's picking Marichka, dude. And I was going to go Bombs, but I can't. I can't now. Because he's got Polymorph. He's going to be in Stone Skin. I have to ban Ar Armand's. I wish I had Georgian, man. Or someone crazy. Let's just do this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't um, foresee myself winning this one. The top two duos right now in the game. That's the reality here. I mean, I could try. I don't... I'll try to do this and increase damage and see if we can take a turn first. No, we can't. It's it's over. GG's. I'm too slow. My damage dealers are way too slow, man. I mean... And I'm sheeped again. <sighs> I'm sick of sheep. I'm really sick of it. Seriously. So sick of sheep. It's the stone skin and the bolster on top of polymorph that kills me. I mean, I got 276 accuracy on my Wukong. I have, like, no accuracy. Like, zero. Almost zero in terms of endgame. If you're talking endgame and players that put accuracy on their Wukong, I have very little to no accuracy. Uh, let's go. Um, that means is like I, I want to use his A2 to do the strips, at least on the damage dealers. But it seems like people purposely put their resistance to Zilch. Nada. Or it's just the fact that Polymorph can proc regardless of if you have resistance or no resistance on your champions, I assume. Which is pretty disgusting. He's going blue affinity. I'm going to go with Uko. Mr. Joker. What's he got going on? Okay. Let's go Foley. And he might ban Wukong. Or he might ban Foley. No? Okay. That's fine. Let's do it. Hopefully we can get this win. I mean, I just need to get this win to be done with this, but I think I'm just going to do all the battles anyways. Up until the end of the live arena session. Okay, let's do this. So we speed up. I Yeah, I need to try to strip that. All right. Nice, nice. Try to kill Eric's. Nice. Okay. Nuke. He's going to revive. I'll kill the Ragash again. Right now. Soul Reap him. Try to remove the strengthen. Nice. GG's. All right. We got it. There we go. We finally got it. Here we go. It took, uh, what, two days, three days to do it? We'll take it. Earn 500 immortal soul coins from selling souls from your soul collection. Hopefully there'll be another soul summon um, event at some point. So that's just a waiting game right there. We got four more live arena refills. That's crazy. Okay. Right now are one, two, three, four. I think I had five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins, six losses. Two keys left, or two tokens left. TP Netro, let's do it. Narciss. Alright, he's going Ancora, obviously. 
pretty pretty obvious from the fact that he put Narciss first. He probably has been losing a lot to people that have been using Narciss, and he's like, F that, man. I'm going Narciss. I'm going UDK Narciss. So, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Come on in. The water's fine. We're still going to do our Sun Wukong. I'm probably just going to ban the UDK, to be honest. He might throw in a Rodos. That would be pretty smart for him. Oh, God. Nephilim again? Why does everybody have Nephilim? Everybody has Nephilim. Yikes, dude. Let's go bombs. Let's just ban her. He's going to ban my bombs. Or he's going to ban Armands. Armands. Okay. All right. I haven't used Armands in so long. It's insane. He's got like a, he's got to have like a 60% ban rate at this point. It's pretty insane. Okay. So let's do this. Stone skin as well. Does he have polymorph? He does have a five star. Please don't get polymorph for the love of God. I'm going to see if I can strip this and place weaken. Of course I get polymorphed. Come on. He threw the bomb back on me? Huh? What is that? He's about to nuke me. She's dead. He's dead. I can stun. I come back to life. I nuke. Oh, no. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him, dude. That's crazy. Let's sleep him. All right. We'll, we'll still probably win this. GG's. Damn, dude. Plus two Ancora, plus one UDK. Still clapping cheeks. Oh, I beat him before, too. <laughs> I, f I fought him twice. Mr. Netro. And I said, I think previously I said, why didn't he use the Ancora? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, GG's, brother. All right, let's keep it going. Wukong, still putting in that freaking work, son. Let's go. Bass in a seat. Let's go. What are you going to pick? Arbiter Wukong? Go ahead. Go ahead. Arbiter Makage. Okay, that's what I usually do too. We're going to go UDK. I'm going to pick Elva next. Please don't pick Elva. I swear to God, if you pick Elva, I don't know what else to do here. I'm trying to think. If he picks Elva, do I throw in a Pytheon? Okay, so he's going with... He's going to try to nuke me down here with him, Anithwe. You know what? That's fine. Let's go with Hefrak. And let's go with Elva. Yeah, let's do it. And then I'll ban his um, Georgid. A definite Georgia ban here. I don't know what he puts last. It could be a Leo, which would suck for me too. If he Or he could put Foley. Okay, he's going with Kimmy so he can go as fast as possible. But he doesn't have like super strong champs. The only one that I, I'm going to have troubles with is Makage, I feel like. If Anithui kills me, which he will, he will kill the Sun Wukong. I'll get a counterattack and hopefully kill the Arbiter. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, Hefrak. Do your thing, buddy. Or 
Or he might try to swap and try to cleanse everybody. Please get sheeped. Didn't get sheeped. That sucks. That sucks, dude. He's gonna probably AoE. He'll definitely kill the Sun Wukong. Wow. Wow. Insane damage. Insane damage. And he, and he stripped me. Oh my god, dude. GG's. GG's, dude. Damn. That AoE. I didn't think Anithwe was that strong. I know he got a buff in the past for damage, but I didn't think he was, was that strong with his AoE. Um, I think I have like 70,000 HP on my Elva. I guess that's not nearly enough. It is what it is. I don't think I'm going to keep going, though. Yeah, I'm not going to spend any more. I think that's good. I think we went 70%. We actually went up in rank uh, back up to 4,095. Still 52% win rate. We got 2,000 crests. I wonder if I can do this while I have you guys here. If you've even stuck around this far. If you have, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing to the channel, by the way, and liking the video for me to help me out. And in terms of soul collection, I need 500, right? Which champs do I not have? Her I don't have. I could just get rid of all these ones I don't have right now. Nagorio, five star. I think I already put it on him. Probably not going to use this chick anytime soon. I won't really use Fisha. Well, that's I don't want that. Um, I don't really care about her right now. I guess I could just go through and just get rid of all of these. Drumbor, I don't care. Him I kind of care about. I want to build him at some point. Elcinia, I don't care. Him, I don't care. I kind of want to build this guy too, but I don't have him on the account. So we'll take him off. So that's 500 right there. And we've already beat that mission. Okay, clear hard mode stage 7 or higher the Dragon's Lair 20 times. Yeah, we should be able to beat that, no problem. We're going to farm overnight tonight. And we do have Dungeon Divers going on. Uh, summon Rush is done. Artifact Enhancement's going on as well. And then for tournaments, what do we have next? Today's the 12th, so... Champ training still going on. Oh, I did end up getting the primal shard here, so I pushed for champ training. I don't think I'm going to push anymore, though. Maybe I'll float around 7th to ninth or 10th place. And if I see that in the morning I'm not too far up before I go to work, I will just farm a little bit first thing in the morning and just get myself back up to like 8th place or so just to get the gems for more energy refills. Sand Devil I didn't even do at all actually wasn't even concerned about this so it's not a big deal it's whatever dragon tournament is in the morning so i'm just gonna wait for the mission to go hand in hand with the dragon tournament i want to kill two birds with one stone here and um do the dragon farming while the mission's going at the same time and the events going at the same time so anywho i think that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate you all if you stuck around this far and i hope you have a wonderful day wonderful evening and i'll see you on a video soon take care